Hey guys, it's Rob here and Titan Season 1 Episode 3 Origins was just released so let's talk about it. If you guys want more Titans reviews, don't forget to leave a like, it helps the channel out a lot, and if you haven't yet, subscribe for more reviews by me, Robo Rob. So Titans Episode 3 started out where the last episode left off of Titans. It ended with Rachel surrounded by her soon-to-be captors, and Hawk, Dove, and Robin trying to fight them off to the best they can. But this time, it's from Rachel's perspective, which was a nice touch for the start of the episode. Now Dove is still in the hospital, which I knew was going to happen, and she will survive. Hawk is looking over her, and Robin goes out to find Rachel, which leads us to the main part of this episode. Episode. In this episode of Titans, we get the origin of Robin through a flashback. Of course, we all know Dick Grayson's origin by now, but it delves deeper into his time at the beginning when Bruce Wayne adopted him. We even get some acrobatics from Dick Grayson as a child, which some of them had shoddy CGI, which I've accepted by now. Titans isn't going to have the best CGI. Maybe season 2 will be better, or maybe as the season goes on, it will go better, but right now, it's not the best CGI. The flashbacks were entertaining to watch, but it didn't really add anything to the story other than to say Robin was a troubled kid when Bruce Wayne adopted him. We do get glimpses of Bruce Wayne, but it's usually from the back or a silhouette of Bruce Wayne. I think eventually we'll see him, but for now, they're just going to have him be this mysterious figure, which is an odd choice, but one that works for the scenes he's in. What I got from these scenes with Bruce Wayne was that Bruce Wayne is very distant from him. He's very hesitant to even interact with him. He's going so far as to interacting with him through a letter, even though he's right behind him, which I'll be honest, that was a little bit creepy. One fantastic aspect I loved of this episode was the dynamic between Rachel and Corey. I really liked the way they set it up as an older sister vibe, and if that's what they're going for for these two characters, I really like it and it works. I was extremely critical of Corey's costume when I first saw it, and I still am, but I know there are new costumes that they're going to be showing in the coming episodes, which is fantastic. I honestly think she might become my favorite character on this show. Now, Corey kills the father of that creepy family from the previous episodes with her powers, which makes one less member in this family. Now what I thought was is that they were an actual family, but apparently not because the leader or whoever they go to see after they fail says that they're going to be bringing in another member, another father figure for this family. Now one negative but positive at the same time about this episode is that we do get more scenes with Beast Boy, but unfortunately it's a very short scene, leaving me wondering when we're going to see more Beast Boy have a more prominent role in an episode. That's not to say that the scenes that Beast Boy were in were bad not by far. They were actually one of the best scenes in this episode. I love the interactions with Rachel and Beast Boy, setting up some future storylines and character development in the process. Another focus of this episode was Rachel, and in episode 3 of Titans, they ended up in St. Jones, which is a church where Rachel's mother took refuge for fear of her father would find her and uh, pretty much hurt her, because in the episode they do say they found hand rings around her neck when she went to the church. And we all know who they're talking about by now. They're talking about Trigon. Trigon needs Rachel to let him in so he can enter the realm of Earth. And near the end of the episode, we see that she has sort of let him. I don't think she has fully let him in, because if that was the case, a lot of more bad things than a broken wall and a lot of crows flying past uh, Corey and Robin would have happened. So I think she partly let him in. And I think in future episodes, we're going to see her gain new powers. Now, it's not going to be new powers to the character, but it's going to be new powers to the character on this show. Now, this has a lot to do with the prophecy that Robin and Corey found out about. This was at Corey's storage room where we see tons and tons of hints and pictures of Raven, who is of course Rachel's hero name that they use in the comics. Now I've been waiting for them to delve more into her powers and making her use the powers in fights. We've only seen snippets here and there of her powers. I want to see full on fighting with her powers. I want to see how, what it's going to look like. Now there are little clips from trailers that we've seen, but I want to see it in a full scene. Titans Episode 3 wasn't the best episode, but in my opinion, the episode was a decent one. It had some good character interactions between Rachel and Corey. It moved the plot a little bit more and teased some future characters and uh, plot, which makes me want to watch episode 4 of Titans, especially after that teaser. But that's just my opinion. Tell me your opinion down in the comment section below. Did you enjoy episode 3 of Titans or not? Would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. And for more Titans reviews, subscribe to Robo Rob, and I'll see you guys in the next video.